Hello YouTube, it is time to talk confidence intervals. In my last video I showed how to perform a one sample t-test. Now we're going to uh, take a similar approach and we're going to say, well what if we wanted to say with 95% confidence that the mean of this data is going to be between this and this. Well we can use a confidence interval to do that and we have our set of data here. Let's say that this data x represents the age of the people who think that Trump is a terrible human being. And then we have gender as well. Let zero be male, one be female. So uh, of this data set, five females with these ages think that Trump is a terrible human being. Okay, so let's now go ahead and run this and find our confidence interval. So we're going to use the proc means procedure. So proc means, we'll set our data. Data is just going to be demo or whatever you named your data, then we need to put LCLM, UCLM. Now, you do not have to set your alpha value. I'm going to set my alpha value to 0 0.05 to get a 95% confidence interval. The reason I say that you do not have to set it is because it's going to do 95% by default. Then we just need to set our variable. Let's just do X, and now we'll say run. So now when this runs, it should give us our 95% confidence interval for the mean of x. Okay, looks good. Here's all of our observations. Here's the means procedure. So we can say with 95% confidence that the age of the people who think Trump is a terrible human being are between 18.5 and 42.5. That all looks good. And now you might be saying, well, what if I don't want 95%? Well, that's easy. We can just change our alpha. Remember that one minus alpha gives you whatever percent interval that you want. So right now it's one minus 0 0.05. That gives us 0.95 or 95%. Let's say we want 90%. Then our alpha has to be 0.1. So now let's run this. This should give us a 90% confidence interval. And now since our requirement isn't as strict, our interval should shrink. So we can say 90% with 90% confidence our interval for age will be between 20.88 and 40.11 that looks good now let's incorporate this gender variable so we said zero represents male one represents female now let's get confidence intervals for the mean age by gender and we can do this in SAS just like what I said and it's literally going to be by gender as the next line and let's run this and now our printout will be very similar, except now it breaks it down for gender equals zero, gender equals one. So we can say the mean age for males, uh, we can say with 90% confidence that it will be between 90.82 and 60.17. And then the mean age for females, well, it's going to be between 13.95 and 29.64.